724 March Madness is officially in full swing. Many of us are filling out our brackets feverishly to win some money for some, maybe just to have some fun for others. But is there actually a method to winning, or is it just kind of throwing care to the wind and going for it? Illinois professor Sheldon Jacobson is a bracket expert who actually teaches bracket odds at the U of I. You know, I got a degree in broadcast journalism and political science, and I'm thinking I should have maybe done this instead. <laughs> we would have welcomed you into our class. <laughs> okay, so you created a website that uses analytics to help people and your students, of course. How does it work? Well, what it does is it uses data and analytics. The students love it because they've been involved in, in basketball, and here they have a chance to take what they learn in a classroom and put it into action. Bracket Odds is very popular. We were quoted in ESPN a few days ago, Washington Post, uh, the Associated Press did some articles and mentioned us. We offer people an opportunity to use AI and data analytics to put together their bracket. Mind blown, because I only got four hours of sleep between elections and trying to put my brackets together last night, and I'm thinking you could have cut me some time down. Could have cut down a lot of time. <laughs> Go to our website, and we have a, an AI simulator, and you can just choose which one to use. I'm going to give you a tip. So if you want to do it by yourself, the best thing to do is choose your final four or your elite eight first and then build the bracket out from that. Okay. If you do Explain that, you're more that. likely to have a winning bracket. Explain that a little further. We have the bracket up here on the screen. This is a play bracket, everybody, okay? Mm -hmm. So explain how that works. Why should we pick down the ballot first, essentially? <laughs> well, think about, think about how television programs are created, books are created. You start with the end and you move backwards and you create the story. In some sense, Ooh. doing a bracket that way also makes sense. And we've run millions of bracket tests to validate that. And we've published this in a peer-reviewed article as well. So start from the inside and work outside. And what you'll discover is your bracket will make more sense. Do you have some data as to how often you all have been right on this theory? Well, we do actually post on our website how we've done the last three years, 2023, 2022, and 2021. We've already generated all of our brackets. We generate 3 million brackets every season, and then we start to evaluate them after the tournament is finished. So we encourage people to have fun with what we offer but because it's really an event, and it's a social event. It brings people together. And in times when there's so much bad news, March Madness is good news. I fully agree with you on that. Although it might take away from your productivity for like a month at work. Uh, <laughs> so, so let me ask you this also. If we're looking at it from, from your perspective, do you think it takes away from the madness or does it add to it? What it does is it makes it a little more enjoyable. So when you see an upset, when you see a team winning or losing, you can say, ah, what does the data say? You look it up on our website and realize, oh, that number three seed, we expected them to go so far. There's so much information out there, and our minds just can't absorb it all. But AI can, and that's what we use. Mm, I love it. We're going to leave it on that note, at least for now, because I might need to make some changes to my brackets. Bracketodds.cs.illinois.edu. Let's check out what they have going and see if it works another year. Thank you so much for being here on the show today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. All right.